try. Hi, I'm Steve. This is the Flings Air Channel. Today I'm going to talk about hinges and control surfaces. We've been building up our, uh, our airplane here. With uh, We put some laminating film on, did the, the tubes for the tails, uh, the channels, glued them all together, and then this next video I was going to do step by step going through the tail, but it ended up taking too long. So essentially I'm going to talk about hinges and I'm going to describe the process, but I'm not going to bother going through the whole thing. This is a tube hinge. It's uh, kind of similar to a piano hinge. It's a carbon fiber. Um, the, the small one that I use for a uh, single surface foam board is a carbon fiber tube. This is four millimeters in diameter. And then this is a paper tube. It's a launch lug for a model rocket. And I've been getting these from a company called Pitsco Education. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to read that. I'll try to hold it still. In any case, I'll put the link to them in the description. Uh, the carbon fiber tubes, I actually got a bunch really cheap on eBay, but before that I've been getting them mostly from Goodwins, which is a kite supplier, and they have a, a few interesting things there. Uh, once again, I'll put the link in the description. And then for a bigger size that I use sometimes, uh, this is an aero shaft with uh, a guard bee nesting tube. Uh, for those of you... Uh, who ever heard of them? I had not. A guard bee is a solitary bee, and they make these nests out of out of uh, uh, blocks of tubes. The the paper tube is actually a liner, and there's a cardboard tube that they also sell. I get these from the the Crown Bee Supply Company, and it happens to be a perfect fit over uh, a gold tip expedition hunter. It used to be the 3555 was their designation, and now they call it a 500. Uh, and so this is one of those with the label on it, 3555-500. And it is a perfect fit to make a, a hinge. It's almost frictionless. Uh, I use this more on foam planes and actually for ailerons where I don't want to, uh, you know, I want the aileron to go up into a thicker section of the wing. Uh, so one thing that happened with my twin star, I broke off the uh, elevator, and so on this one, I uh, I carved a little groove into each side, and then taped some of these uh, paper tubes onto it, and was able to fix that pretty effectively. Uh, for the uh, the foam board planes, I used the thinner one, and I can pop this out of here you'll see what I'm talking about okay and so to, to do these what I did is I assembled it laying upside down and I actually used the uh, carbon fiber tube to line up the stabilizer surfaces and get them aligned straight with the fuselage before I glued them. So what you want to do is uh, you know glue on both sides and then smear this flat. On this one I actually used a piece of laminating film over the top of it and then folded that over the sides. Uh, for the leading edge I used a little piece of plastic tubing in the groove and then I carved the groove with this is a, a piece of the bigger diameter barbecue skewer and it's got a piece of uh, gator grit tape which is a uh, no slip tapes like skateboard skateboard tape and basically I like to hold hold it in my fingers like this and then run it I can center it and run it down the, uh, the center and then just sand out a uh, the foam so that it matches the contour of the paper tube, something like that. This is another thing that I wanted to show you. It's uh, I've actually never used this in an airplane, but uh, you can do all kinds of fun things. Um, so you can see how I did that. On this side, there are two holes in the control horn, 
and on this one it's the same hole in the control horn as this one and so that makes a, a symmetrical what do you call that a double hinged flap in any case uh, for grinding it I use that little piece of oh, I set it down here it is. Uh, use this and then the uh, the paper tubes to cut them I like to use one of these Olfa knives and a uh, once again a, a barbecue skewer you could also use a sacrificial piece of, of uh, carbon fiber but uh, basically I like to line it up here get the length and then just roll to make a nice even straight cut I do two lengths for the most part this is 7 8 inch uh, which I can tape with uh, just a regular three-quarter inch wide tape and then two inch which uh, you can use a little piece of uh, regular shipping tape and what I did here is I worked my way in uh, so I had a seven eighths, seven eighths, two inch, seven eighths uh, a weird length here in the middle uh, seven eighths, two, seven eighths, seven, seven eighths, seven eighths on the other side uh, and that gives me a, a symmetrical uh, hinge without too much effort. The uh, control surface itself, I don't know if you saw this, this is balsa wood and I get it in uh, aileron stock and then usually cut it down uh, and sand it. I use a pad that I got at Home Depot uh, and then just sand it down to the, the contour and then I, I work the ends a little bit and then do the groove down the center just the way I, I would on the foam board. Uh, on these there is some of the tape underneath and then I put a little layer of uh, laminating film over the top and for the uh, this is the underside this is the ugly side and this is the pretty side and basically uh, I made a piece of, of laminating film that was too big and then cut snips uh, little slots in it and folded it over carefully and you can end up with a pretty nice finish. The balsa wood itself after I sanded it I sealed it with uh, Aline's Turbo Tacky Glue and I just smeared it on there and then uh, uh, wiped it smooth with this is a, a Bondo spreader also from Home Depot. The other thing that I did, there's a little edge here, a little flat. Uh, they don't quite cut it to a, to a sharp point. And I like to glue a little length of uh, one inch or a one millimeter carbon fiber rod to add a little strength if it uh, was to hit a branch or something. Sometimes when a when a plane crashes, uh, it'll it'll hit nose first and then bounce and land on the tail, and so really no air part of the airplane is completely safe. In any case, that's the the basics of it. I uh, don't want to go too long because, like I said, I did a video the other day and it and it ended up taking way too long, and then I had problem problems uh, processing it and and. Uh, and so on. But uh, I wanted to show you the concept and uh, hopefully it's helpful and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.